okay so um inspired this morning by a client who checked in um suffering with sciatic symptoms so uh, for a start um it depends if you have sciatica which is when you've got an impingement on the nerve from l4 down l5 into the sacrum where that nerve is so you may need to see your osteopath or chiropractor about that or your gp um, however sciatic symptoms are often from muscle tension in the lower back area or actually in the glutes because your sciatic nerve does pass through your buttocks uh, glutes are your buttocks um, so if your buttocks are tight and that can be caused from sitting uh, being at your desk um, standing for long periods of time and even walking so life in general uh, we can all suffer from sciatica Uh, and that pain can then be referred all the way down into your thigh it can come out into your calf and even as far as you can feel a bit of a, a, a pain coming out by your ankle here so if you've got sciatic symptoms it can be in any one of those areas where that nerve root travels okay so um if you have any of those symptoms going on a good start is when you wake up in the morning sit on the edge of your bed and then just gently lift up your leg you're already engaging your sciatic nerve and then flex your foot you'll feel it a little bit more you'll feel it running all the way on the edge if that's enough for you then lower your foot back down and just do that a couple of times to wake it up if you want to stimulate it a little bit more just gently tip your chin down towards your chest and again you'll feel that whole route the nerve is taking it's better to wake your nerve up gently like that first thing in the morning and jump out of bed reach for the coffee and get going that, that kind of you're already starting with impact on that lower back and you know so give it up give it a warning that you're going to get up be kind to yourself that's the theme this year be kind to yourself okay now when you're about to get up come forwards on the edge of your bed push your weight down into your heels squeeze the buttocks so you're working your buttocks your powerhouse rather than your back to lift you up push your weight down into the heels squeeze the buttocks lift coming up let's do that again okay so you're leaning forwards weight down into those heels and straight up okay so you're working those buttocks rather than that lower back good another handy thing to have is a spiky ball now a spiky ball is brilliant for relieving all sorts of symptoms if you pop this under your foot there are over 7,000 nerve endings in the foot so you can address all sorts of things by just rolling that ball from your heel to your big toe second and third toe fourth and fifth toe <coughs> okay get rolling through Now do two minutes on one foot, feel the difference. The other foot's gonna go, me too. So then you get going with the ball on the other foot. Again, do two minutes on this foot. So you'll feel a whole completely different person once you've done that, believe me. Don't take my word for it, go and get yourself a spiky ball. Now if you can't find a spiky ball, but you own a dog and you've got a squishy ball, borrow the dog's ball. Okay then after you've been rolling it under your foot for a little bit take it round that sore spot around your thighs you can do this standing you can do this sitting just rub that ball around that irritated muscle you can really break down those uh, soft tissue fibers that have got tight and tense which will then be closing around that uh, nerve sheath and you just want to kind of loosen off those muscle fibers do nice long strokes if it's in your calf go all the way down your calf if you're sat at your desk a lot you will you know you could potentially get very tight calves some of us sit there and we tap the leg jiggle it up and down completely unaware and unconsciously half the time 
but that will add a bit of tension into those calves. So just get going all the way around through those muscles. Use the ball to your advantage. If you can't get to your therapist, your massage therapist like me, use your ball. Might not feel as nice as uh, some of my techniques, but it will certainly help those soft tissue fibers. Just spread out a little bit, get that oxygen in there, get them stimulated, the circulation, get it all moving again so that you're, you feel a bit more freed up. Okay, as I've spoken about uh, the buttocks, we're gonna work on easing those buttocks off. So, when you're ready, lay down on your mat. Okay. So you're gonna take your spiky ball. You're gonna feel to the bottom of your tailbone. You don't wanna put the ball on the bone because that's quite painful. You wanna put the ball on the fleshy part of the buttock muscle, not too far from the bone. And that could feel like quite a nice gentle pressure. If your muscles are already re resisting, just try and relax the leg. Then gently let that leg come out to the side. All the time breathing, just relax breathing and allow that leg to gently drop over. Again, you can hold it for a couple of minutes just to ease that side off. Then move the ball a little bit towards the middle of the buttock so it's crossing over one of the muscles which is the piriformis that can often aggravate the sciatic nerve and then gently once again drop your knee open out to the side now if you feel any shooting pain or sharp pain move the ball you don't want to ag aggravate the nerve but you just want to allow those muscle fibers to spread around the ball to you know rather than being in a tight ball of muscle you just want that muscle to just start to release those fibers a little bit so at the moment they're really tight you just want that ball to encourage those fibers to open up again okay then once you've been under there for a couple of minutes then bring the ball to the outer edge so more or less where your leg bone joins into your hip socket and again use that spiky ball find a good spot it's got to feel like a good pain not an annoying irritating pain and then just gently allow that knee to come out to the side this might feel a bit more of an intense stretch because you're on the end of the tendon that's attaching that muscle into the the hip capsule just stretch it and let it rest there and again if you've only got pain down one side Make sure you do the other side as well, because once you've relieved off one buttock, the other side will also want to um, have the same treatment. So we've done one side, let's do the other. And again, you can have a block for your head if you like. Okay, so it's just helping those muscle fibres um, ease off a little bit, spread out a little bit. They've all got rather tight and, you know, there's, there's lack of nutrients and oxygen and everything passing through there. You're just helping those spaces spread out so those nutrients, that oxygen, that circulation, that all that movement can get going a bit more freely again. Um, and, you know, that should hopefully start to help you feel a bit more freed off. Um, a very nice gentle exercise to do if you're not able to is the cat stretch so knees under the hips hands under the shoulders have the hands a little bit more forward so you're not working the back you're working the shoulder keep the shoulders down away from the ears have your spine in neutral have your head in line with your spine breathing in as you breathe out, you're going to pull that belly button in. You're going to push your spine up towards the ceiling. So you're tucking your tailbone underneath. Spine is going up to the ceiling. And you're just allowing the crown of your head to come down towards the floor. And then breathing in, you're just going to bring that back into neutral. Okay, so to go in the opposite direction, again, knees stay under the hips. 
hands are slightly in front of the shoulders so you're activating the shoulder girdle so breathing in keep that core engaged then as you breathe out you're going to dip your belly belly button down towards the floor head up towards the ceiling so you're dipping your back down towards the mat keep those shoulders down the back and then come into neutral now if you've got a bulging disc and this feels okay for you you can carry on and do it if you've got a bulging disc and this doesn't feel okay for you don't keep on doing it but you are closing those spaces encouraging that disc to go back in with any luck otherwise it will break off and the body will destroy whatever breaks off but we want to keep what we can in our discs we need to plump them up that's why roll gowns are really good in pilates uh, just to uh, get the whole spine articulating and moving so you're dipping your belly button down towards the floor and feeling that nice stretch but you're keeping your belly button pulled in so you are supporting your back as you move and just getting that movement through your back okay 